for the last uh, couple of years, uh, this young woman has been denied full access to locker room facilities in the school simply because she is transgender. She was very pleased. I think when you have been the subject of discrimination, uh, when you have been the subject of discussion in which the superintendent of your school district suggests that you may not really be a girl, uh, I think to have the weight of the federal government come down and say um, that your rights have been trampled and that they need to be respected uh, is incredibly uh, validating and incredibly inspirational. I think the message is, is that the world is changing um, and that, you know, trying to discriminate against someone else uh, on the basis of what you perceive to be the privacy interests of other students is not the way to go, uh, that there are accommodations that we're going to make for students so that they can live fully in the school and, and be full participants in the school activities. By imposing this unrestricted access without any measure of expected uh, privacy, we believe that that is not the right thing to do for our young people. There are uh, private changing stations, and each of those individual stations would afford access into the locker room and uh, opportunities to engage with peers in, in the locker room. Uh, at the same time, protecting uh, matters of and privacy that are very critical among uh, teenage students. Uh, we continue to be uh, very uh, hopeful that we're going to be able to work toward a solution together that serves the best interests of all of our students, uh, those who are transgender and those who are cisgender.